So basically, I studied painting. I did my master's in Chitrakala Parishad. So my initial works were just paintings and drawings and, uh, you know, with different mediums. And But I was always uh, interested in moving images. So when I was doing my site-specific works in forest, I started documenting it and I started thinking a little differently and I also started uh, kind of, uh, you know, blending the concept into different mediums. This was during 2006-2007 onwards. So I was uh, kind of uh, very much in influenced by Richard Long's work. So I wanted to do something different, but at the same time, do something like what he did, like, you know, like travel in the forest and keep, you know, just walking and walking. And uh, I don't know, maybe because of my uh, personal uh, way of life, I just wanted to be uh, in the open and uh, free. So I started making site-specific works and I started documenting it. Then I started making uh, short videos and that is where I kind of started encountering with River Kaveri, of course, and um, wanted to travel along the river. That is uh, also mainly because, uh, you know, I just wanted to go alone and I just wanted to travel alone and be alone. Something like that, you know, just to feel brave or I don't know, like also to know more about the river. So I started traveling and uh, I made a, a short uh, film on River Kaveri. So it was a turning point for me and it was a very good experience to be with the river and to know a little bit about myself and my work and my work process. This is more like I would like to connect it to my uh, past works and also to my childhood. I was born and brought up in uh, Kurg in the midst of coffee plantation. My earlier works were more nostalgic. It, it Again, everything gets connected to my childhood because uh, most of the time uh, I was always in the outdoors, in the fields and on the treetops or you know somewhere there. And uh, even there was a small river which used to uh, flow in front of my house. And uh, I spent a lot of time there making, you know, making clay models or uh, just walking and just being there. So something what I did, it's it's again coming back to me or uh, I'm just like subconsciously again like connecting to my present uh, body of work. And uh, I started making some, making forms and with whatever material I get there. So it was more interesting for me because I was really not, spending anything and I was not wasting anything. Uh, it's more like an arranging nature in its own territory. And uh, I was like kind of, I feel the leaves or twigs or stones and especially working in the river, it was all very interesting for me. It was a new kind of work uh, for me to do it and experience. I have worked with my videos and site specific uh, with uh, painting and it's also kind of a performative because I'm there and uh, it was a very um, kind of a breakthrough work which I had made and uh, now living in Bangalore I keep traveling to Cork but when I'm in Bangalore again I'm like little concerned about water and sustainability of living and um, now I live uh, something very close to which was a independent village but now under BBMP and um, I made uh, works around the lakes which is like now polluted and I'm also like little interested in the way of living so it's more like about myself and the river and environment so my works mostly revolves around these subjects so even when I go on residencies I kind of again get attracted to the rivers and its bank and I would like to know a little more about the rivers which I encounter in some places where I stay and sometimes I relate them to the rivers uh, in my state in Karnataka, mostly Karnataka means it's again towards uh, Mysore and Kurg and all the tributaries of Kaveri and so it's a good experience uh, I've had like with the residencies where uh, you have to kind of come up with a different kind of work in a particular time frame.
I wish to continue my work without any interruption like the way I've done so far. Thank everybody who has helped me to be where I am now.